This is the Logitech MX Vertical, a mouse that prioritizes on ergonomics rather than offering a bunch of features. Now, this isn't the world's first vertical mouse. In fact, if you do a quick Amazon search, you'll actually come across some interesting options that cost nearly a fifth of the price of the MX Vertical. So yeah, this thing costs $100, which is expensive, but it also kind of competes, or I guess it, it's priced similarly to the uh, MX Master 2S from Logitech, a very popular mouse among content creators and designers. So I've been using the MX Vertical for the past two weeks, and I've got to admit, it has been an interesting experience getting used to a curvy shape, something that looks out of the world when you compare it to a traditional mouse. So let's talk about the MX Vertical, get into the details, talk about some of the quirks, and of course I will put it up against the Master 2S because I do use that on a regular basis as well. Uh, right after a message from our sponsor. The new Masterkiss MK750 keyboard comes with a comfortable magnetic wrist rest, beautiful RGB light bar on the perimeter and perky lighting control with a variety of Cherry MX switches and a bottom Type-C connection. Cooler Master doing it right. Check it out below. All right, so before I get into this review, I have to admit that this is my first time using a vertical mouse. So consider this review to be a, a first time user's perspective, switching from a traditional mouse to something a little bit more ergonomic, or that's what they claim to be. So we'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. Let's kick things off with the design. And this is certainly a unique looking mouse. There are a lot of curves going around the body to comfortably accommodate your hand. And what's really fascinating is that Logitech has still managed to maintain that same design language as the MX Master 2S. It's simple and minimalistic, and it also acts as a good prop for B-roll. Now, do note that it's only available in this graphite variant, so we could expect different color options added in the future. But let's switch gears and talk about this form factor. The palm rest area is angled at 57 degrees, which according to Logitech is the ideal posture for your hand uh, that reduces the pressure on your wrist. So check this out. Here's a shot of me trying out the MX Master 2S, and it looks pretty normal. My palms are rested horizontally with appropriate thumb support, and I can comfortably glide around. Here's a G403 gaming mouse, and I'm more comfortable using it claw style, and I'm used to it. Now here's the MX Vertical, and right off the bat, you can tell that it's A, a tall mouse, and B, my hand is a bit elevated off the surface, specifically my thumb, and it's at a very comfortable position. It almost feels like holding a joystick, and the one thing that I did notice is that uh, I didn't actually have to put any pressure towards my wrist uh, when holding the MX Vertical, which is something that I just started to realize after switching between the MX Master 2S, because when you have your wrist placed at a horizontal angle, you are twisting your wrist a little bit, whereas with the MX Vertical, it's at a it's a, it's at a comfortable hand gesture kind of orientation, so uh, you're not really applying any pressure to your wrist, which ultimately actually ends up with reduced strain uh, over long-term use, and that's something that I did notice when using MX Vertical. So from an ergonomic perspective, I really appreciate what Logitech has done here with the MX Vertical. And if you're someone who spends a dangerous amount of time sitting in front of a computer screen, then it's probably worth look, taking a look at something like this because A, it reduces the stress that you add onto your wrists, and again, it's super ergonomic, very comfortable, certainly get some time getting used to from your traditional mouse, uh, so that's something to keep note of. Unfortunately, the MX Vertical is only geared towards right-hand users, so lefties, I, I really feel sorry for you. The thumb rest features these textured rubberized surface to assure a solid grip, which is a nice touch, but I will mention that if you have small hands, you might find the MX Vertical to be a little bit too big for your taste, so I would highly recommend you trying this out at a retail store to see if you're comfortable with it, and then uh, pull the trigger. Moving on to build quality, and to be honest, I'm not that impressed for a mouse that costs $100, especially when compared to the MX Master 2S. The vertical just feels a tad bit cheaper. Now don't get the looks of the vertical deceive you when it comes to the build quality and how much it weighs, because it's actually 10 grams lighter than the Master 2S, and I think part of that has to do with the materials used to construct uh, the body and the bottom surface of this mouse. Now that being said, the MX Vertical is put together really well. There are no signs of creaking, which is amazing, but when you're coming from something like the MX Master 2S, you're definitely gonna feel uh, the, the quality when it comes to you know the build by itself. So that's again something to keep in mind. The primary left and right buttons feature good tactile feedback and they're just the perfect size for your index finger and middle finger. I didn't have any issues with my ring finger getting in the way for my secondary button, so that's awesome. The scroll wheel is well defined, but unfortunately it doesn't feature uh, Logitech's signature hyper scrolling. So if you want to scroll through long documents, faster, 
And if you are used to the hyper scrolling on the Master 2S, you're definitely going to miss it on the MX Vertical. And I think from an engineering perspective, it actually makes sense because the scroll wheel is actually angled. And so there are a lot of gravitational forces kind of taking place when you start scrolling. And if, if you enable hyper scrolling on a mouse, uh, especially in a scroll wheel that's oriented this way, then it's not going to be as consistent when compared to a scroll wheel that's kind of, you know, sitting at a horizontal position. So again, laws of physics. The forward and backward buttons felt a little bit cheaper to me. Uh, it felt like using buttons from a $30 to $50 mouse, and it lacks refinement when compared to the Master 2S, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. The cursor speed button is used to cycle between two different pointer speeds. And what's really cool is if you hold on this button and move the mouse towards the right, it'll increase the DPI sensitivity in real time, and it sends uh, it increments of 50, and the button by itself is fairly easier to reach. I'm also really surprised that Logitech didn't really implement a side scroll wheel on the MX Vertical because there's so much room uh, wasted here because you know your thumb is basically sitting here doing nothing so it would have been amazing to have you know the verticals or the um, the horizontal scroll wheel just like the MX Master 2S uh, but also the gesture button which was implemented on the thumb rest that's also missing on the MX vertical so again from a feature perspective you are kind of missing a lot of the button mechanics or I guess features the buttons uh, on the MX Vertical compared to the Master 2S. There are three ways to connect the MX Vertical to your computer. One of them is by pairing via Bluetooth up to three devices, or you can use the unifying USB receiver, or you could even use it in wired mode with the included USB Type-C cable. Speaking of which is refreshing to see on a mouse. So let's hope gaming brands follow this along very soon. Now, battery life on the MX Vertical has been great so far. I haven't killed it yet because I've only been using it for a couple of weeks and Logitech claims that it can stay powered up to four months on a full charge, which is amazing. And I do believe them because I've been using the MX Master 2S for about a year. And over the course of that period, I've charged it maybe three to four times and it has held up really well. I've taken it with me to trips like CES and Computex. And you know, I haven't had an issue with battery life with this mouse so far. So when it comes to the MX Vertical, expect great battery life. Moving on to the sensor performance, and the MX Vertical comes with a 4000 DPI laser sensor. For the most part, tracking felt very similar to the MX Master 2S, but it does not come with the dark field technology, so tracking on surfaces like glass is totally out of question. I used a cloth mouse pad for testing mice in general, but I did test the MX Vertical on a white surface, and tracking seems to be just fine. Remember, both the Master 2S and the Vertical feature laser sensors, and they're really not optimized for tasks like gaming, so there is a little bit of acceleration and liftoff distance tracking as well, plus it's not as fast when it comes to responding to your movements, and you know what? I expected that for a mouse of this caliber. Remember, this is not targeted towards gamers, but rather someone who spends a majority of their time being productive, like designers or content creators. The last thing I wanna cover here is a software experience. Just like typical Logitech fashion, it's a much simpler UI with basic controls, and I like what they've done here. You're greeted with a physical overview of the mouse where the user can assign commands to any of the four buttons. The point and scroll tab lets you adjust the sensitivity and a few more DPI settings. The lack of a visual indicator for DPI levels is a bit disappointing, but I think for an average consumer, it's really not a deal breaker. I should mention that this mouse does support Logitech Flow, just like the Master 2S, and for starters, it's a cool feature that lets you seamlessly switch the cursor between different computers as long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Treat your ears with the incredibly comfortable HD 58X Jubilee headphones from Massdrop and Sennheiser, delivering sound expected from $500 headphones, but only for 150 bucks, making it one of the best price to performance skins available. Check out and join the drop down below. So that's the MX Vertical from Logitech. Now, would I spend $100 for a mouse of this caliber? Probably not, especially if you're someone who's just debating on switching between horizontal to vertical, and if you're coming from a really basic mouse, because it is an expensive investment and you may not end up liking it because, you know, maybe you have small hands or maybe you're looking for a lot more, a lot of the buttons, uh, specifically because, you know, uh, the MX Master 2 has come with a horizontal vertical scroll wheel, whereas this doesn't. And I really wish they could have included something like that uh, within the thumb rest because there's just a lot of space wasted in my opinion if you were to ask me so they certainly have a lot of improvements to make with the master or the mx vertical and i hope they do with the next revision so i'm really looking forward to that but if you really like to try out something and if you are you know say someone if you are used to vertical mouse uh then this is something that's worth looking at because i love the design it's really nice it's lighter so it's super comfortable as well so yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanna hear your thoughts on the MX Vertical. What do you guys think about it? Are you considering, or would you actually consider switching from something like you know the MX Master 2S or a traditional basic uh, mouse? 
uh, to something like this. Given its elevated design and the fact that it doesn't really add that much stress to your wrists, are you actually willing to try it out for yourselves? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Ebro with Hurricane Axe. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out our new boot sequence channel for the latest tech news and rumors, and you can check out some relevant content over here. I'll also make sure to leave links, uh, purchasing links uh, for this mouse in the description down below, so you can make sure to check that out as well. I'm signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.